Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot, and in today's WordPress video, we're going to be talking about WordPress course plugins. Now, these are usually called Learning Management Systems, or LMS for short. So, if that sounds interesting, keep watching. Okay, so the three plugins that I've been working on for the last month or two and just been testing them to get some experience on each of them. These are LearnDash, LearnPress and Tutor LMS. So I quite enjoyed working on all of them, but they all have different advantages. They all have different pricing structures. So I'm just going to go through that today and help find which one will be the right one for your project. Okay, so the first one we're going to cover is LearnDash. Now, LearnDash has been around a long time. You'd probably say it's the industry leader at this point. It's been around since 2012, which is a century in web development. And in that time, it's been picked up by some really large organizations. Some big universities already use LearnDash, and it's also partnered with the Astra theme. So I know a lot of us really enjoy working with Astra. I know a lot of my viewers love the Astra theme, and it's probably the easiest way to get started when you're building WordPress websites is to use Astra. So uh, it's got a free starter template that works with Astra. So if you're just getting started, this can be a really good way to go. I will warn you that it's not the cheapest out of the three. It's probably the most expensive, but it does have the most features. And in some cases, some of those features you might really need for your project. So let's have a closer look. So let's get started by looking at the Astra LearnDash Academy templates. It works with Astra and it's great for using a page builder like Elementor, Brizzy and Beaver Builder. So if you're a fan of these page builders, the LearnDash Academy starter template will just fit right in and you'll be able to get started straight away. So this is the LearnDash Academy starter template. Now you can get this from Astra when you install Astra theme. I've got earlier videos where I show you how do I go through and install the Astra theme and install a starter template. Very, very easy. This is what you'll get when you use the LearnDash Academy template. It's a really nice, clean way to get started. You've got all your courses here, um, some nice little well-designed sections, and it all looks perfect. You can probably start building a nice course website just based on this with uh, very little design input needed. So it's a really great way to get started. And let's see what some of the actual clients of LearnDash are and what they've done with this LMS system. So these are just a few of the clients of LearnDash that are using LearnDash for their own learning management systems. So some pretty big universities here, you got Washington, Florida, University of Michigan, and a few fairly significant tech companies as well are using it for their courses. So let's have a quick look at what Michigan, the University of Michigan has done with LearnDash on their website. So we can see with the University of Michigan example, they're using it on their website for the Center for Socially Engaged Design. Now they've used it for um, design ethnography. And in this case, they've used it to allow students to submit their essays to the course and the course instructor can then grade the essays. They can send the results back to the students and they can run their course completely online using this system. So uh, very reliable, very suitable for this sort of high end, high ticket sort of application where you really need a reliable, serious LMS system. So LearnDash really has been uh, a great option for this for a long time. Now, having a closer look at LearnDash features, we can see that it definitely has a very strong feature set. Things like dynamic forums where you can have a private or public specific forum. You can have your grade book, your course points. So you can actually run a complete university course through LearnDash. Drip feed content throughout the semester. That can all be done automatically incredibly useful for the workflow that you'd encounter when running a serious educational program. So like I was saying, a very suitable thing for uh, serious educational purposes. Some of the actual tech features, uh, LearnDash is one of the only way you can get some of these features like uh, uh, the Tin Can API and SCORM, uh, the Articulate Storyline, Adobe Captivate, iSpring, a lot of these things, universities are already working with them and they need to use them in their websites. So 
you almost have to have them when you're in taking on a project like that. Uh, a lot of the smaller type course websites that you might be building, you're not going to obviously need all these features, so you won't need to uh, go for LearnDash in a lot of cases, but in cases where you need it, uh, this can be a great option to go for. And some of these other things are awesome as well, like multi-site, working with any modern WordPress theme. So you can just plug this into an existing website and it's going to work well. And having the industry support with people who have used a lot of LearnDash, that can be worth just as weight in gold. So these are some things you want to consider when you're considering which LMS to go for for your project. Okay, now let's move on to the pricing. So the pricing of LearnDash, it's definitely more expensive than the other two plugins that we're going to look at later, but it definitely is, it's, it's definitely worth it if you need it. So 189 is the recommended package. You get 10 licenses, so it's only $19 per license when you look at it that way. But the problem is you've got to, um, this is an annual subscription. So you've got to keep paying this uh, for every year of support and updates that you need. And you're going to need those if you're using it in any serious sense. So it can add up over time. And the other ones offer lifetime options. So you can save money by getting a different plugin, but if you need some of these features, LearnDash might still be the best choice. So if your budget allows, definitely consider uh, LearnDash as your LMS. So in conclusion, I definitely consider LearnDash probably the leading LMS system for WordPress. Now, that makes it more suited towards serious educational projects where you really need a more serious full featured package with a lot of features and where you can show that it's been backed up by some serious projects so it does come at a price it's definitely more expensive and there's no free version so you can't try it out before you buy it but you can see it is being used by some very um, reputable sources on some very important projects so you can kind of trust that it's going to be decent at least so um, you can also get a discount to get started through that uh, description link. So definitely check that out. Definitely encourage you to, to consider LearnDash on your project. But let's move on. Let's move on to LearnPress and let's see how that compares. Now, LearnPress, I definitely consider it excellent value. The price is much lower and it even has a free version. So you can try it out before you even have to spend anything. So that's pretty cool. It definitely doesn't have as many technical features as LearnDash, but what it does have is some very beautiful pre-built designs. So when you get one of these theme bundles that they offer, LearnPress has loads of these beautiful designs. I'm gonna show, show you some of these in a minute and this is why it's really loved in the freelancing community among WordPress developers. So uh, a lot of people who develop online courses really love LearnPress. It's a great way to get started. And the workflow is very easy when you use these pre-built designs. So let's get started. Let's have a look in some more detail at LearnPress. So LearnPress, like I was saying, much better value for money. You can get started for free, obviously, but the real value comes with these theme bundles where you can get uh, a site license and you can choose one of the themes starting from 49 up to 69. These are some really beautiful themes. I'm going to take you through those in a second. And it has enough features to basically get an online course running. Like it's not what you'd use to run an entire school, although you can run a small class within a school probably. I'm going to show you some of those projects in a second too. So, but you get all the things you need to get started with running an online course. So let's have a little bit more of a look. I really like this price bundle and the price bundle is that's a one-time fee. You only have to pay this once you get lifetime updates. So that's really rare these days in this world where you get software as a service, where you have to keep paying subscriptions. It's awesome to be able to get something as powerful as an online course plugin for a one-time fee like around 50 bucks it's quite a good deal so let's have a look at some of these example sites that you can get with the LearnPress theme bundles so here we are on the LearnPress themes page now they actually have 25 LearnPress themes and they're all in that 50 to 70 dollar range but you can see that it covers loads of different uh, applications where you might want an online course such as uh, teaching languages uh, running a university course, 
doing some tutoring, doing a language school, doing some sort of tech tutorials like graphic design or coding, those kind of things. These look really nice. You can actually see how they've been applied. So you can see University of Sydney is actually using it on their Emerging Leaders program. And there are loads more of these examples on their website. So you've got the University of Oxford are using it on their summer program. You've got the Young Democrats using it on their site. Institute of Preventive Cardiology using it for their e-learning courses. Um, Bennett College. You've got some pretty serious applications for this LMS system. So you can definitely see at this price point, being able to do these projects it's pretty amazing value, I have to be honest. So definitely check out LearnPress. You can get the free version like I did on my previous video. I didn't even use one of these themes. All I did was build the course using the free version of GeneratePress. And I thought I got a really great result with the free version of LearnPress and the free version of GeneratePress. So you can just try it out right now. But like I was showing earlier, the theme bundles really speed things up and you get like a very, very professional result where you can get um, these kind of projects under your belt. It would be awesome to create something like this. So definitely check this out. So in conclusion, I definitely consider LearnPress probably the best value among the pro versions of these plugins, especially when you consider it gives you lifetime updates, which is amazing at that price point. And even though it's cheap, it's still being used by some large organizations. So you can trust it even on some very serious projects as we saw in those examples. And I just thought those uh, pre-built templates, those themes that they offer, they look really good and they're going to save you a lot of time in your workflow in terms of getting a very attractive learning portal built without spending too much time. So check the link in the description. Definitely consider using LearnPress for your next LMS project. I think there's a very wide range of applications where this is going to be a great choice. Also check out my previous video where I build a course using LearnPress. I was able to do that in quite a short amount of time and I really quite enjoy it enjoyed using LearnPress. So definitely check it out. Definitely consider it for your next LMS project. Now, finally, for the last LMS system that I'm going to be looking at is Tutor LMS. Now, this is the new kid on the block. It's been in development only since 2019. And the reason I'm covering it here is I know a lot of my audience really love free solutions. So this was by far the most generous free LMS solution I could find. And it also has some really great flexible licensing options. So you can get licenses that renew annually or you can get lifetime options as well. But the free version is amazing. I was able to build a site that uses WooCommerce to sell the courses. This was the only LMS plugin that I was able to find that could really do this for free. So I know a lot of you really love some free stuff. So this is why I wanted to include Tutor LMS as an option in this video. So I'm over on the Themium website. Themium are the guys who make Tutor LMS. And I'm just gonna scroll down to the features section and we can see the basics basic package is the free one. Now they give you loads of uh, features even in the free version. So you can create a course, you can do quizzes, you can do um, YouTube and Vimeo video embedding, uh, lots of quiz options. You don't get all the quizzes in the free version, but you get enough to make a pretty cool looking course. But the coolest thing they've got is the monetization options in the free version. They give you WooCommerce support and also easy digital downloads. But WooCommerce, you can integrate that with all your other e-commerce plugins and you can really do this in a way that supports your existing website, your existing e-commerce setup. You can all easily add like digital learning to your blog or in a, in a way that would be very helpful if you're just on a tight budget, you're just like a solo entrepreneur. Um, I, like, I know a lot of you watching this are just working by yourself. You're trying to get started in WordPress. So this would be a great way to get started, especially considering that WooCommerce support is in there for free. I think that's really, really cool of them to offer this. Now, if you are interested in the premium version, the license fees are about the same as LearnDash. So um, it is fairly comparable in terms of its features. I still think LearnDash has more features overall, but what uh, Tutor LMS does have is these lifetime licenses. So if you were a big agency doing a lot of 
digital e-learning websites. You can get unlimited licenses for unlimited websites and lifetime access. So lifetime plugin updates, lifetime priority support. So if you're a big agency and you're really looking for a good premium solution, this could be the way to go. But otherwise, it's pretty similar to LearnDash. I think you could probably compare it to LearnDash and maybe pick the one that you prefer. But having lifetime that's a pretty important feature for a lot of you using it but I think for the most part where it really shines is that free version I think if you're just getting started with LMS this would be a really cool one to learn now in my previous video where I built a tutor LMS course just using the free version and just using the free version of the Astra theme I thought this was really quite easy to do but if you're interested and you want a specific theme for Tudor LMS they've got some very very um, good looking LMS themes that are specifically designed to work with Tudor LMS so you can get say the language school or um, skill 8 or edumax that are really designed to make it uh, produce very a very high quality e-learning platform but I had a lot of fun just using Astra, just using a free version of the, I think I was just using the Coach um, Astra template. You can check out my earlier video. I'll put the link in the description for that as well so you can check that out. I had a lot of fun just using a free version and integrating it with WooCommerce. It wasn't very difficult and I got a great result. So check out that video as well. So in conclusion, I think Tutor LMS, it's just awesome giving you such a generous free version. I think if you're on a tight budget or you're a beginner and you're not sure about creating an LMS uh, website, give this one a try. And you can always upgrade to add the features later if you need it or your client would like a more advanced website later down the track. You could go in that direction as well. So that's why I really quite like it. And especially giving those uh, flexible license options, being able to do it annually or being able to do lifetime licensing. I think that's a cool way of approaching the pricing. So um, check out that link in the description and consider this. This is a really fun way to get started if you're interested. Just um, you could uh, get started right now and build a really cool thing, integrate it with WooCommerce and see how you go with that. But I had a lot of fun. I think you will too. So consider Tudor LMS as well. Okay, let's wrap this up with some concluding remarks. We've looked at these three plugins, LearnDash, LearnPress, and Tutor LMS. All of them have their own unique strengths. I feel like LearnDash, it's been around the longest, has the most features. There's definitely gonna be some projects where you're just gonna need some of those features and LearnDash will be the one that you need to choose. But in a lot of cases, the price is not gonna be suitable for the project. I definitely think LearnPress, LearnPress gives you a much better value proposition and so a lot of the freelancers I've been talking to lately have been recommending LearnPress more and more especially when you look at those themes those pre-built designs they're going to save you so much time as a freelancer in terms of getting a beautiful design in a short time I think they've really nailed it with those um, really beautiful templates and you can see that in all those project examples that they've shown on their website it really gives you a lot of confidence when you're going into a project that you can really deliver on something that looks awesome. Finally, I think for a lot of us who are just starting out, we don't have the budget for a premium LMS plugin. I think Tutor LMS offers the best free solution. I definitely had a lot of fun in one of my previous videos where I just built a site using Tutor LMS. I just used a free Astra template, linked them together, used WooCommerce. I thought that was such a cool little project. So I'll put the link for that in my description as well. But overall, I think in summary, we, summary, we can say LearnDash is probably the most powerful, the most full featured and well-developed plugin. LearnPress, probably the easiest to set up in terms of getting it looking good right out of the box and offering really great value in terms of its licensing. And Tudor LMS, good for beginners, a great free option, which you can upgrade in the future. So all of them have their place. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Drop a like if it's been helpful. Subscribe to the channel as well because I'm going to keep coming back with uh, new WordPress videos. But overall, it's been a great couple of months working on these LMS systems and I think I've learned a lot and I hope you've learned a lot too. Let me know in the comments what you think and thanks for watching and I will see you next time.